We are now during the coronavirus lockdown and as you see our cookie jar is empty. <laughs> but our flowers from allotment are full so and we have lots of egg. Um, I received the eyepiece. I think this is a Takashi eyepiece. This is Takashi LE uh, eyepiece. So let me open and see what is inside. I'm just guessing. Okay, now it seems I'm there. Takashi makes the best telescopes or some of the best telescopes. Uh, but it seems they have also ordered some eyepieces or asked some eyepieces to be built for them or they designed it and asked someone to be in Japan to build it. Now let's just open, unwrap it. They're very well packed. Okay, they look very well packed, so I'm just trying to open. This is the first side piece, and I'll use my hand to open this other side piece also. I need both hands. Okay, let me open this one. Um, it's typical of the you know premium brands to just make a simple, non-luxury packaging. Uh, Teleview though is the same. So let us see what is this one. This is a Takahashi uh, LE. 18 millimeter LE 18 18 millimeter ocular ocular means eyepiece so what is this one this is a Takahashi ocular can I read 12 and a half millimeter ocular again LE so let's open and see Oh, it comes off really easy. And that's the eyepiece. I heard these are better than the orthoscopics. Uh, because orthoscopic eyepieces, although they are very good, uh, they have an intrinsic uh, narrow field of view. These are better than them. Uh, the field of view of the um, orthoscopic eyepieces is uh, 40 degrees to 42. These are 52 degrees. So. Quite nice eyepiece, it feels nice in the hand. Right size, light, not very heavy, so better than the Teleview Delos or uh, similar eyepieces in the Teleview range, which are heavy. Uh, the eye guard looks quite sturdy, it gives a good protection. The lens is really nice, let me just. Okay, let me remove the bottom one. Oh, look at the field of stuff. Let me turn on the camera flash so you can really see actually. Oh, the field of stuff is really good. I can see here. There's a bit of scratch there as if they have been trying to open it. Is it? Is it because of that or no? No, no, they are normal. There's a reflection from my camera oh, flash. It's not a scratch or anything. Yeah, there's no scratch. They're uh, just a little blacker than the others. Yeah. Oh, look at the clarity of it. Let me just take it against the light. Oh, absolute delight. Look at the field of view. It's chocolate. Mmm. As you can see, it's quite lightweight, small. I have several 18 millimeter other than this, which are really bigger than this. So uh, I will test it under under the dark sky and see on the telescope just to see how it is. Let's just now open this one. Okay, I'm observing the star 30 uh, low minoris which forms an uh, asterism similar to a cart with several stars around it the magnitude 3.25 and uh, 
and there is a tiny star to the I mean in the refractor to the right of it which is magnitude 8 and that's very quite faint for this sky watcher 80 star travel 80 f5 what I've noticed is that I have a lineup of uh, uh, 18 millimeter uh, eyepieces. This is a Takashi LE 18 millimeter. I have here a Star Guider ED 18 millimeter. I have the Bader Classic Ortho 18 millimeter, and this is Orion Expanse 20 millimeter, 66 degrees. Of course, these are not 80. This one is 30 millimeter Celestron Ultima series for the multi and I have here also a Teleview 40 mm plus. So, uh, in all of these 18 mm ones, uh, that is 20 mm, I noticed Takahashi and uh, the classic Ortho are the best. This Star Guide, uh, although is good, but uh, around 40% to the edge of the field stop. You can actually see astigmatism. Uh, this is not bad as this, but and again, not very good. Classic order to the edge is quite uh, without any distortion. Image is good, but Takahashi LE is as good as Orto. But eye relief is better, and I can see that 8 magnitude star all the time with this. It's quite bright actually with this when you look at it. Um, so I have a line up here, and you can see that. I may try to find another 18 millimeter and see how that will look with this. Okay, of all of these 18 millimeter ones, Star Guide, Ortho, uh, Takahashi, and uh, this is the biggest. This is the Alter Light Wave LER Fat Field Wide 18 millimeter eyepiece. I have a review of this, and it's quite impressive, chunky eyepiece. It looks premium, really, in feel. Uh, let me just use this with this. I remove the Takahashi and put this one. Okay, I have now used this Alter uh, Light Wave uh, Flat Field LDR 18mm eyepiece. Uh, I must say Takahashi is better than that, definitely. It has a more uh, eye relief, better eye relief. It's relatively easy on the eye. It's ergonomically beautiful. But that 8 magnitude star I told you, with the Takahashi, you can see it easier than with this one. In this one, it's almost a little bit dodgy. It doesn't... I should not use the word dodgy. It's not very easy to bring it to focus. That's what I should say. Out of focus, it's actually a little bit more visible than when it is in focus. This is strange. Of course, what I noticed also is that this telescope has a little bit of secretism. Toward the left, the 30% to the edge of view, you almost get the a little astigmatism. But funny enough, you, all of this show a little bit of that, except the uh, Takahashi and uh, Ortho, and this one also, Teleview 40 millimeter plus so. Really impressive. So I have a good lineup, and now I can say which one actually is the best. In my opinion, now Takashi is the top, very close with the uh, classic Bada classic Ortho. Then comes this, and this. This is the least favorable. Star Guider, twenty millimeter. Not bad, it's just very generic. This is good, this is perfect. 
Uh, I don't know. I'm a little bit upset by Teleview. It produces the best eyepieces, but the price is really high. But I've not never seen any fault with this <laughs> plus. So beautiful, thirty uh, low minor minoris star asterism. I'm observing and comparing this for eighteen millimeter eyepiece. Yeah, from all of these eyepieces, the Takahashi and the Bada are lightest. Takahashi really has a good eye relief, beautiful view. Uh, I like the look of this uh, better than this, but um, probably not any of them. Uh, I'll, I will go for this ones. This is quite expensive. This is quite affordable, so I may just go for this if I want to buy it first time. But that one. Is really good. Or get a Teleview Plus if you can find it. So what I want to say is that if you don't choose your eyepieces correctly, and by correctly I don't mean expensive eyepieces, some of the Chinese eyepieces are the best I've seen, cheapest and cheerful. In this range that I have, uh, if I didn't see this one or the other auto, I will miss that. I would have missed that eight magnitude star. You would not know that that star exists. Even in the sharpest focus you achieve with this or this or this, you will not see that eight magnitude star. That's that's fact. Of course, having said that, uh, this was with this telescope in this weather and sky condition my eye of course as they say your mileage maybe is different so um, make your own choices <laughs>